Excuse me, sir. Have you heard the good news about Mountain Dew, Gatorade, Mountain Dew, Gatorade, Mountain Dew, Gatorade, Mountain Dew, Gatorade, Mountain Dew, and Gatorade, Mountain Dew, and Gatorade, Mountain Dew, and Gatorade, and Mountain Dew, and Gatorade, and Mountain Dew, and Gatorade, and Mountain Dew, and Gatorade, Mountain Dew, and Gatorade, and Gatorade, and Gatorade, and Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, do the do. Hey everybody, Peebs here. Today we're gonna be talking about some sellout games. Hello? Hey, uh, did Shorty do a video? Sorry, like wrong number. Some games are made with love, integrity, time, effort, and dedication to the craft with appreciation for the players in mind. And other games are Windy Spicy Nug Island for the Metaverse. If the Metaverse was the only life you could live, I think I'd rather just die. I did do a Sellout Games video in the past and I had a lot of fun with that, but there was a lot of games for that video that I didn't cover, so I have compiled for you in this video. The worst ever Sellout Games. That's what it's called. Let's go! Ah, adventurer. Oh, hey. The power you seek lies within the chest. These are just Skittles. If you went into a store and picked up this game, would you look at it and think, Skittles advertisement? That's a rhetorical question, by the way. Well, despite it not having any mention of it anywhere on the box, this is an officially licensed Skittles game. Uh, actually, correction, it does mention Skittles right there in the bottom left corner legal text. Taste the rainbow. Wield powerful magic. Solve ancient mysteries. Eat Skittles. All right, let's do this thing. May the wind carry my words to you, mother, wherever you may be. What's the meaning of this talisman you left me? What's the meaning of me? Who am I in this world? And why is this a Skittles game? I'm still not really sure about that. Our character, Sky, herds these weird animals with long hair, protruding eyes, and disturbingly prominent buttholes, and lives in a land controlled by evil, ugly guys who have apparently banned bright colors. Kind of an odd choice. Personally, I'd ban whatever these weird butthole animals are, but to each their own. After chasing a butthole sheep that ran into the forest, she comes across a lone Skittles brand candy. What in the rainbow's name? What in the rainbow's name? I guess Skittles are some kind of ancient religious deity in this universe. How dare she take the name of Skittles in vain? Go to the church and ask Skittles to forgive you. We then cut to some evil looking place where I'm assuming very evil people live, like this pathetic little dragon guy who warns some dude named Lord Necros that a young female in Linlora just found one. Orange. <laughs> Oh no! She found a Skittles! Hey! She found a Skittles! An orange Skittle, sir! Then the game happens. And the game is, uh... Awesome. We meet our new friend named Drac, who we have a pretty cool conversation with. Minions! Great, I just love minions. And before you know it, we're being attacked by some insane mace-swinging guy before ever being told what buttons do anything, much less how to actually attack back. So you run around, pick up a... Rumble stone. Kill some bugs. <laughs> Owned. I owned that mosquito. Meet some fairly disturbing looking people who make fairly disturbing sounding noises out of their mouth holes. <laughs> until you eventually meet this crazy old weird looking lady. Zanana Bananda! Actually, you know what? I didn't want to come in here anyway. I'm just gonna go back outside with that guy that was shooting an infinite amount of arrows at me. You show the Skittle, or excuse me, the orange artifact, to the crazy old crone. That, my strange young sapling, is 
A Skittles. Skittles? Yes, you see, they're paying us to make this game. Contractually, we have to mention the brand at least a couple times. As the game goes on, you find more Skittles, which let you cast different types of spells. But other than that, the game has basically nothing to do with Skittles. It seems like they were almost embarrassed that it was a Skittles game and mentioned it as little as possible. Even going as far as to call it an orange thingy instead of calling it by name. But hey, you do what you gotta do. Get that bag, darkened sky. I mean, that's what I'm about to do. This video is sponsored by Bai Yi. I love buying cool stuff from Japan, like toys, Nintendo merch, even candies, new Japanese foods to try. But unfortunately, since I live in the United States, it's kind of hard to get my hands on a lot of that stuff. Especially considering some of the coolest stuff doesn't even release in the US for some reason. If you find yourself in a similar situation, then my sponsor Bai Yi can help you out. If you use Bai Yi, you can shop on any Japanese website you can think of. Mercari, Rakuten, Japanese Amazon, Japanese eBay, Yahoo Japan Shopping, anything you can think of. Bai Yi will purchase the item for you, ship it to their warehouses, and and then they will ship it to you. Now, of course, you could go on eBay or something like that and buy some things from resellers, but you're gonna get a huge markup and pay a lot of extra money for that. But again, with Bai Yi, you can buy the product straight from the Japanese source and obviously saving a lot of money in the process. You can also save money with my link in the description below. Anyone who signs up for a brand new Bai Yi account with that link will get a free 2,000 yen first time purchase coupon. So again, use my link in the description below and you can buy anything you want from Japan with Bai Yi. Get a free 2,000 yen discount and you can even help support my channel quite a bit in the process. And big thank you again to Bai Yi for sponsoring. This video is not sponsored by Skittles. I've had one before and uh, they're all right. That right there was a better Skittles advertisement than this freaking game was. If anything, playing this game makes me want Skittles even less than I did before playing it. These insanely ugly characters don't make me want a Skittles. This disgusting monster doesn't make me want a Skittles. <laughs> Having to restart the level every time I die doesn't make me want a Skittles. And these freaking buttholes definitely don't make me want a Skittles. Hey, uh, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. When you think of Final Fantasy, what comes to mind? No, seriously, I, I haven't played those games for like more than five minutes. I'm not sure. Well, I'll tell you what I don't think of. Blatant corporate product placements. So I was pretty surprised when I was doing some research that there is an entire side quest in Final Fantasy XV dedicated to cup noodles. Ah! It's probably not gonna surprise some of you out there who have played the game, but to me, that, that was kind of shocking. I have to finish this video in at least a somewhat reasonable time frame, so I wasn't able to play all the way through the game just to do this one side quest. So big thank you to Kanetti for uploading it to YouTube. Do you think we could swing by the cup noodle shop for a sec? There's nothing else like them. They're, they're easy to make whenever you've got a craving, and they're delicious to boot. I'll never forget my first time. Ah yes, everybody remembers their first time. Eating a cup noodles. Any food you make tastes better when you use good ingredients, right? If you take something already delicious like cup noodles and add in the finest, freshest ingredients, what do you get? The ultimate flavor experience. So let me get this straight. I have to add my own ingredients to the cup noodles product in order to make it delicious, and that is according to the cup noodles advertisement itself. It's not It's not a very ringing endorsement. The secret ingredient to the tastiness of cup noodles is other ingredients that you buy at the grocery store yourself. The ultimate flavor experience. <laughs> So big guy, that's his name, I assume? Big guy. Wants us to collect the ingredients for our cup noodles to complete the side quest. And how do we do that? Violence and theft and murder. The Holy Trinity. <laughs> Sponsored by Cup Noodles. <laughs> Big guy asks what you like in your cup noodles. If you answer egg, you steal a giant egg from a nest. Sure hope we don't have an accident on our way back. You steal the unborn child of a giant mama bird, probably nearly extinct, and again for a cup of noodles, and they're over here cracking.
Jokes about it! This is the kind of disgusting, immoral behavior that Cup Noodles Corporation supports. If you say you prefer meat, you fight this giant monster! We can't lose this battle. Yeah, I mean, we gotta have the ingredients for our cup noodles. I mean, God forbid we go to the grocery store to get our ingredients. Like some kind of peasant! And then there's the last option, shrimp. After all, the shrimp they use in cup noodles was selected from over 60 varieties for their flavor and their shape. It's perfection. Uh, sure. Whatever you say, big guy. But we're just gonna get splooged ah! by this giant shrimp monster anyway, you know, just because. Going through all that trouble to make our own custom cup, it's made me appreciate cup noodles even more. Perhaps we truly can't improve upon perfection. It's not about finding the single best ingredient. It's about crafting that perfect blend of meat, egg, and shrimp. That harmony of flavors is key. Makes you appreciate how delicious these noodles really are. I know I sure do. <coughs> Hooters! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hooters, for those unfamiliar, is a restaurant that originated in the U.S. and it's since moved to a bunch of other different countries. That's right, people across the world flock to Hooters for their wings. I hear they have really good wings. And they also have a game for some reason. Hooters Road Trip. Gas up and buckle in for some good old full throttle action as you bust out on a white knuckle rally race across Hooters USA for the ultimate prize. By the time I'm done playing, this is gonna be me. <laughs> this montage of sexy ladies and Hooters tank tops is brought to you in association with the Peanut Butter Gamer YouTube channel. All right, I'm in my Hooters office. Oh, is this some kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's kind of game? <laughs> no. It isn't. All you do in this game is drive. You drive, drive, and drive some more. Until eventually you don't drive anymore. Ah, uh, what was that? I assume you enjoyed that. <laughs> well, good, because now you get to do another 15 minute long race. And if you're lucky, you might get to see two seconds of a clip of a girl talking to you this time. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Georgia. Ah! They're really gonna make me work for the boobies, aren't they? Oh, you finished another race? Congratulations! Here's a woman who's been paid to talk to you. Hey there! Welcome to Jacksonville. You repeat that cycle over and over. You race, and then you get to see a picture of a Hooters girl for a couple seconds. And occasionally an alligator. I don't know about you guys in the comment section, but I'm looking to see some more alligators personally. And if you race enough times, eventually you get the ultimate reward. Yeah, you finished first. Woo! <gasps> yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that this game came out in a completely different time. I just love the idea of a game coming out today where horny teenagers play a really boring driving game for 15 minutes just to see an image of a girl in a shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Totally worth the three and a half minutes of monotony. I know what some of you are probably thinking. Peeps, how could you play this disgusting, perverted game? Nobody wants to see this. Well, I agree with you. They don't want to see that. They want to see this. Back in the 80s, 7-Up had a bunch of commercials with their then mascot, not just Spot, but Cool Spot. Now what makes him cool, you ask? Well, obviously the sunglasses. But also this. Uh, that, that was, that, that was the wrong gif. I meant to use this one. Look, I saw this while Googling 7-Up on the internet, and if I have to look at it, so do you. But Cool Spot wasn't just in commercials, he also had some of his own games, including Spot Goes to Hollywood for the PlayStation. The game starts with a cutscene of a bubble flying over Hollywood into a movie theater and then into a 7-Up machine. All set to unnecessarily epic, almost Jurassic Park sounding music? Our titular character Spot, or is it Cool Spot? Climbs right out of the machine. You may find yourself wondering, as I did, how is this little red dot thing actually alive? Well, the answer is simple. Life will not be contained. Life finds a way.
he jumps onto a film projector and then is somehow shot onto the movie screen. Then he's standing on some film reel where he then sees a talking pirate head. Avast, Darmates, as ye enter the world of pirates, beware. <laughs> Despite the pretty cool animated cutscenes between levels, the game itself is pretty boring. Spot waltzes across your favorite Hollywood movies. Jurassic Spot, Spot Wars, Spot in the Longest Pirate Ship of All Time, Spot in the Culturally Insensitive Jungle Adventure, and Jaws. <laughs> Rest in peace, you cool spot. You will be remembered for the, all that stuff, like when you were in commercial, in that time that you went. He even goes to hell. Well, he does in the Sega Genesis version anyway. He even murders Satan, and it's only like the third level in the game. Honestly, this version is way cooler, pretty much all around compared to the PS1 game. There's even a Ridley Scott alien level, complete with chest bursters and necromorphs that chase you around. Though the aliens in this game are a little bit dumber than they are in the original movies. Thank you, 7up, for defeating all the enemies of mankind, both enemies in this life and in the next. Please accept this offering we humbly place before you. Salute! If there's anything better than regular selling out, it's selling out as quickly and as often as possible. It's time for... Lightning! Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Lightning round! Hello. Feeling a little ill? Well, just try the in-game items for Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, Mountain Dew, and Doritos and go from ill <coughs> to sick. <coughs> of course, you can't forget the classic subway advertisements in Uncharted 3. Hey, I'm Nathan Drake. If you're the adventurous type like me, then get in on the Subway Taste for Adventure. Subway, we're winners eat. Whatever is happening here is sponsored by Subway. Hey, fresh. <laughs> Subway also approves of shooting people. Selling out to some brand name is one thing, but what about selling out to a political campaign? In 2008, Burnout Legends took cash from the Obama campaign to put in-game billboards encouraging gamers to vote. Gotta lock down that Burnout Paradise demographic! Thanks, Obama. Did your wife leave you because you play too many MMOs? Well, just hop on EverQuest 2 and type slash pizza to order pizza without ever having to leave the game. It's not gonna make your wife come back. No, seriously, she's not coming back. Ow. After you're done eating that Pizza Hut pizza, why not play the Pizza Hut game? Pizza Hut Pie Flyers. A licensed Pizza Hut game that is so forgettable, I almost forgot to even include it in the video. But hey, at least it comes with 700 hours free of America Online Internet! A sellout game that sold out? Holy <laughs> Sellout Inception. I know you all come to this channel to listen to me talk about sports, and I mean, why wouldn't you? I'm clearly a glorious athletic specimen. But if I'm as gifted at anything as I am the sports, it's the math. And how convenient for me that that's apparently the case, because I have right here a game that encompasses my two greatest skills, NFL and math, NFL math. Back in the mid-90s, the National Football League partnered with a developer slash publisher called Sanctuary Woods to make games for kids. The catch apparently being that they also had to indoctrinate kids into becoming NFL fans. The resultant NFL math ended up being a game that was maybe 10% educational, 60% NFL rules and trivia, and 30% good old-fashioned American violence. 
I think that guy just got decapitated. And that other guy seems pretty happy about it. Unfortunately, as you can already see, I couldn't get the game to work properly, so all the animations and cutscenes go at about five times speed. Which not only makes the cutscenes hard to follow, it does also give me super speed powers. Oh, yeah. Get that. Oh, 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 over here. No, over here. Over here. I don't even know where I am. Oh, you gonna give me? <laughs> oh, God. Have I, have I scored a touchdown yet? God dang, dear. Oh, yeah. I think I'm just, I think I'm just gonna let him get me. Oh, he got me, but I'm still going. Okay, whatever. Uh... So did I win? In between downs, you answer some questions occasionally about math, but usually trivia about different NFL players, NFL teams, or NFL rules. That's pretty much the gist of the game, but I think I'll let Coach here uh, describe it in a little bit more detail for you. Take it away, Coach. Now look here. I'm gonna need you kids to get out there. I'm gonna need you to do some math. If you can't do that, I'm gonna get out there and find me some kid who can. And I want you out there if you ain't 100% committed. To mathematics. NFL trivia. NFL. NFL. Watch the NFL. Kid, you're our best player. I wrote up a play. Only you can run it. None of these other stupid kids can tell nine times ten. So, Coach, who do you think is going to win this year's NFL match? Bring your daddy a beer while he watches the NFL. Here, take the ball. Zip left. Zip right. Zoop it, zoop it. Grab the pizza. If you're not level three in pizza power by the end of this match, I... I'm gonna make f***ing lose it. Other kids are trying to do math problems out there too, and they can't allow that to happen. You gotta walk up there, introduce yourself to the other children, and just give them a punch in the face. Purchase NFL merchandise with your mother's credit card. If you don't decapitate that grown man over there, I ain't driving you home after practice. You can tell your mother she can pay her own goddamn car insurance. Now you have it. The inside scoop. Good luck in tonight's game. <laughs> Basketball. For three! In the first sellout games video, we talked about one of the biggest offenders when it comes to sellout games, in my opinion. Actually, no, it's not an opinion. It's a fact. NBA 2K. This is a game that costs at least $60 that wants you to pay for virtual coins. Are you telling me I could get 450,000 fake money for only 100 real money? Well, I got the new one. For three! As some of you may know, I'm actually a fan of the NBA, and I play NBA 2K decently often in my spare time. Since the games are essentially the same each year, I was playing a version from two or three years ago, NBA 2K21. But every time I turned it on, it kept badgering me to buy the new version. But it doesn't just pester you to buy the new one, it's actually way more intrusive than that. You turn 2K21 on, it goes to the main menu, where naturally you're gonna instantly press X to go to the mode you usually play. It waits half a second just before you press it, and BAM! A Purchase Now promo for NBA 2K23 with the Purchase Now instantly highlighted, which just so happens to be the button you were gonna press to start the game. So if you're not paying attention, you could accidentally buy not just the new version of NBA 2K, but the Championship Edition, which is, uh, how much again? $150! Please, 2K Sports, allow me to play the game that I purchased with my own money without constantly annoying me about the new one. Is that too much to ask? I'm actually mad. I hate you, 2K Sports. I hate you. You suck! Imagine you're playing Ocarina of Time back in the day, and every time you turn it on, it's like, Hey, there's a new one! You can buy the new one? Just press this button, you can buy the game right now, maybe even on accident, oops! <laughs> Shut up! I mean, yes, I am gonna buy it. I like that game, it's a good game. Shut up, though. Three days later. I recorded this already when they did it one time. They're doing it twice now. The half second delay, you click on it, and then, uh! Oh, okay, I say no. All right, now I'm about to start the game. Uh, uh, no, no, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to pay $100 for this new game that's exactly the same as the old one? But hey, maybe the new version actually is better. Maybe they did make some improvements. Maybe it actually is less intrusive than the other version. No, it's just as bad. Maybe worse. Hey, look, it's me. You know, if I was seven foot one and looked even stupider than I already do. Yeah, it's going down, yeah. <laughs> My basketball me isn't just stupid looking though, he's also insanely bad at basketball. <laughs> at the start of the game, your player is 
god awful. And I know what the kids would say, skill issue. And that's fair, at least a little bit. But it's not just my own ineptitude, it's also factually, statistically true. Your character has an overall statistical ranking that starts at 60 and you spend in-game VC coins to upgrade your skills until you eventually reach max 99. Now you could play the game normally and earn VC by playing the actual game, which would absurdly take about 5,000 years to do. Or, you guessed it, you could spend money. I love having to spend $70 on a game and then having to spend even more money to make it even slightly playable. <laughs> But why spend $2 for 5,000 VC when you could spend $100 on 450,000 VC? And you get 200,000 of that for free? 2K, what a generous company! Man, I was gonna get 35,000, but 75,000 is the most popular option. I spent $5 to make my number go up by, what was that, two? <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. But it's not just the typical AAA money grubbing, greedy, pay to win nonsense. There's also a lot of paid advertisement product placements in this game. And it's so blatant that half the time when the characters are talking to me, I'm wondering if they were paid to say what they were saying or not. I honestly have no idea. Only the legendary winner of the very first season of a little show called Survivor. It's the most underrated show of all time, and I'm not gonna stop until it gets the respect it deserves. <laughs> Is Zion Williamson <laughs> telling me Watchmen's pretty good or they, uh, uh, on HBO? Is Zion Williamson being paid to say this? I hope he at least got paid for this freaking Mountain Dew outfit. All right, I'm finally in the NBA. It's time to play my first game. Wait, is that Jake from State Farm? There's not only State Farm insurance stuff in the game, including their very own store in the city, I don't know why anyone would want to go to that, but there's also an entire State Farm side quest. So I literally have a quest to meet up with Jake from State Farm, like the character from the State Farm insurance commercials. I can get name State Farm is there. Where'd the old Jake from State Farm go? Did you, did you kill him? You killed him and buried him in your backyard, didn't you? I mean, not that I care. I'm the biggest Jake from State Farm fan on the planet. 69. Nice. Huh. Mobile One. They got Mobile One in the game now. Good, you know, good for them. You know, I, I love to see uh, businesses supporting small creators. There's tons of other product placements in the game. Almost too many to even mention. But the product placements that are most often placed in the game are by far Mountain Dew and Gatorade. Mountain Dew, Gatorade, Mountain Dew, Dew, the Dew. You lost your 22. Should have drank more Mountain Dew. <laughs> Kids today probably only know Chuck E. Cheese as that weird rat that went Poggers on a live stream that one time. But back in my day, he was also an animatronic. And he was also a lot more disturbing. He still said Poggers though. Poggers! He was always saying that. Nobody knew what he was talking about. I just thought he was malfunctioning. Well, he didn't just sell crappy pizza to children in his arcade restaurant. He also made video games. And they also sucked. Like, uh, a lot. Let's play one. Chuck E. Cheese Party Games for the Wii. Why? Because I hate myself. I don't know. What, like, what do you want me to say? Play the clip! Right off the bat, this game is not subtle. It literally starts off by showing children rushing into a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant. You see, Chuck here is not making a game to entertain children. He's making a game to indoctrinate them. That's not even me making a joke. That's like actually what this game is. <laughs> After picking our character, I call him Gormand, we sit around bored in our living room. I personally like the wall channel, but uh, admittedly it is an acquired taste. But then a Chuck E. Cheese commercial comes on. Chuck E. Cheeses? That place looks really cool and it looks like lots of fun. So far we've seen excited children running into a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant, an exciting looking commercial for Chuck E. Cheese, and our character looking directly into our soul and telling us how awesome Chuck E. Cheese is. And all of that in about the first 30 seconds. But stupid dad over here won't give us any spending money. I guess dad is also in the TV? Maybe he lives there? Well, TV dad says we have to get a job to get money for Chuck E. Cheese's. I uh, wonder where we could get a job at. Hmm, Chuck E. Cheese's? Sounds about right. Chuck E. Cheese's. Where a kid can learn the harsh realities of life. If you don't work, you don't eat, and you die. Good luck, Gormand. Why is this dad telling his kid to get a job anyway? He's like 
five. Either that or he's a really short 32 year old. I could believe either or to be honest. It then literally gives you a tutorial on how to spend your parents money on Chuck E. Cheese coins. Then we meet the Chuckster himself who the generous chap that he is gives us three whole tokens to use. Um, Chucky, why aren't you moving? Chuckster, my boy Chuck, hey, are you going to kill me? It's a party. The mini games, big surprise, I know, are not great. I mean, we're not talking Wii Sports Resort motion control quality here. Hell, we're not even talking 30 great games quality. Chuck E. Cheese Party Games is in a completely different stratosphere from the rest. Most of the games you can win by just shaking the Wii remote, you don't even have to look at the screen. Oh, I see you've run out of money. <laughs> no, go make some pizzas or get the f*** out! Well, that's pretty much Chuck E. Cheese Party Games in a nutshell. There was this one prize I really wanted to get, it was like 30k tickets. It's like some golden box. I want to see what's in that box. But the best ticket to time ratio I could really get was about a minute and 30 seconds for 10 tickets. How long would it take to get the 30k tickets for that? God, do you know how to do math? <laughs> 4,500 minutes. Yeah, you're right. Now, how many hours is that? It would take 75 hours. <laughs> I think I'm good. I don't need to know what's in the box. Around the mid-2000s, Burger King ran a very iconic as well as very disturbing advertisement campaign. Yes, the Burger King King commercials. Well, they really went all out with it, so much so that they made an entire video game company that made three Burger King games. Of course, there's the notorious Sneak King, for which I have three copies, don't ask. But we'll get into that later. First off, we have Pocket Bike Racer. Who even is this lady supposed to be? I don't understand. Is she a Burger King character? Featuring everyone's favorite characters like Brett, Tiffany, of course, Burger Boy. drive through Winston, love that guy, always gives me free sauces. There's Subservient Chicken, who I'm assuming we're going to kill and subserve to our customers if he doesn't win the race. And Green Brett. Oh yeah, and the king. Unfortunately. The first race takes place in a parking lot of a Burger King, complete with an actual Burger King drive through menu and actual pictures of some of their breakfast foods. And of course, you gotta get a nice close-up zoom-in of the Burger King restaurant just before the actual race even starts. Very subtle. You know, I'm starting to think that Mr. King is more concerned with selling me Burger King burgers than he actually is on making an actual good video game. You know, you really think you know somebody. As you race, you can drive through these cones on the track, which increases your burger power or whatever, and that does... I don't know... What are we about to do? That. Whatever you do, just don't kill drive through Winston! He gives me extra sauces! No, oh, Winston! <laughs> There's not really that much to the game. You race around the track. You get power-ups, you use them. You know, the typical karting fare. Except in this game, if you lose, you get fired from your job at Burger King. Oh god, I really need this job. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go faster! <laughs> Rest in peace to Jolly. She was an employee. Oh my god. <laughs> The king killed her! That was a murder caught on camera! He did! Up next, we got Big Bumpin'. Big Bumpin'. Big Bumpin'. Big Bumpin'. I guess this is bumper cars? I don't really know how to play, I've never... And I'm dead. The loading screen and intro lasted 38 seconds and the actual game lasted seven. Well, I may not know how to play, but I did find the honk button. <laughs> get, get me, Burger Boy. Get, get me, Burger Boy. I'm farting on you. Ah! He's gonna blow me up. Ah! I am, I own you, I am the Burger King. I do command you to stop. <laughs> I command you to stop. Ah! <laughs> I love that the Burger King burger is hunting down the Burger King. Oh, how the tables have turned. There's not really much else to this game. You're just in bumper cars and you're bumping people. Big bumping people, even. It's 
It's right in the title. It's covered up on the box, which trust me, it says it says big. It, it says big bump. Uh, it's big bump. Big bump in on that. Let's do the next one. Sneak King. Sneak King. Sneak King. Sneak King. Ah! Looks like we've got a regular Ezio over here. <laughs> That's a reference to a different game that I've never played. Sneak King is the most famous of the Burger King games, probably because it most accurately captures the representation of the original TV commercials, where the king sneaks up and surprises people and then assaults them with meat sandwiches, which is unfortunately not illegal. I mean, assault is illegal, just not metaphorical meat sandwich assaults, I guess. Someone should really get on that. In Sneak King, you do exactly what I said a few seconds ago. You sneak up to people, press the A button to give someone a Burger King. Oh, hell yeah, brother, give me that meat. And then watch the king dance for an awkwardly long amount of time. Pretty cool, man. After playing the other two games, I assumed I was supposed to kill the people, but unfortunately, I wasn't successful. Ah, dang. Anyway, here's your food. But it doesn't look like my murder attempts are even necessary because these people keep dying all on their own. They die of hunger, they lay there for a while, and then they undie of hunger and repeat the process over and over and over. They're in a hunger death loop and only Burger King can save them. Oh my god, please stop dancing! I mean, these people have literal seconds left to live. By the time you finish, this lady will be dead! There must be something seriously wrong with them. I mean, for starters, they can only see like two feet directly in front of them. You startle a guy to give him a sandwich, start sneaking again, and then two seconds later, he sees you. Got you! He was just talking to you two seconds ago! So they clearly have short-term memory loss also. And what are they even doing? It seems like they must be doing Doing some work, but on closer inspection, they definitely aren't. Is this guy delivering mail? No! He's just holding a single letter, sticking his hand into a mailbox, and then taking it out over and over. These construction workers are accomplishing a whole lot of nothing, just raising and lowering this concrete pipe all day. I'd say this guy is supposed to be painting a fence, but it looks like he's doing a lot more dying while he's already dead. Double dying, the kids are calling it, I think. Dead, 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 dead! I think these people need more help than a simple king of burgers can provide for them. He is but a humble burger man. Shotgun! 